High Level's got so much functionality, including a beautiful funnel builder, great email deliverability, excellent workflow automations, but none of that means anything if you don't have your domain names set up in High Level so that High Level knows which domain name to use to publish your funnels and which domain name to use to send emails. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a subdomain in High Level and have High Level automatically do what it needs to do in Cloudflare to make that domain active in your High Level account so you can then then map it to some funnels. Let's go and take a look. G'day, Troy Dean here from Agency Mavericks and just wanted to remind you that this is a sponsored video from our friends at High Level. I am an endorsed entrepreneur, I'm very proud to say. They're sponsoring this video, but they have no control over what I say in it, which is also nice. I don't know how I swung that deal, but yay me. We're making these videos for you guys because High Level has been a game changer in our business. It's reduced our technical debt, it's closed about 23 browser tabs, and it's dropped my software subscriptions by six figures a year. So if you're in the web design, digital marketing, SEO agency business, get a amongst high level, resell it to your clients, turn it into a stream of recurring revenue and use it to manage your own marketing and sales in your business. Our affiliate link is in the description. So if you sign up, we will make a small commission. Now let's get into it. So in order to actually publish a landing page and some funnels for our client in high level, we need to make sure that their domain is set up in high level. And then we need to set up a subdomain for the funnels to live on. The most common subdomain you'll probably see is LP dot and then your client's domain name. So now I'm going to show you how to add a domain to your client's sub account in high level and set up a subdomain. In a previous video, I talked about the importance of using Cloudflare to manage all of your domain DNS hosting and registrations. In this video, high level is just going to automatically log into Cloudflare for us and add the records it needs to to make our subdomain live. So make sure you are logged into your client's sub account here in high level and then go to settings and then in the settings menu, click on domains and we are going to add a new domain. Click on add domain and the domain we are going to type in is the domain that we registered previously in the Cloudflare video and then click on continue. High Level is going to go and find out where that domain is hosted and it will automatically determine in this case that it is hosted at Cloudflare and then it's going to give me this option to authorize the domain where it's going to log into Cloudflare for me and add the records needed. It kicks open a new window. Now I'm previously already logged into my Cloudflare account. So High Level is now just simply going to tell me what it's about to do. It's going to add these records into Cloudflare. I approve those records. This is the main one here, the C name is going to flash.funnels.messagesender.com. I'm going to authorize these records and given a couple of minutes and the domain will be active and verified within High Level and I can actually start using it. Once the domain is verified, High Level is going to ask me to link that domain with a specific funnel, which I haven't got to yet. So I'm gonna X out of this and I'll cover that in future videos. The next domain I want to add is LP dot the music nerd dot co and this is where I'm actually going to put my landing pages and my funnels so I'm going to go through the same process here add lp dot the music nerd dot co click on continue and high level will go through exactly the same process to set that up for me in Cloudflare bit of background music here's the CNAME record mapping LP to flash.funnels.messagesender.com, which is high levels domain I click on authorize and again within a few seconds we are done Again, High Level is asking me to map this subdomain to a funnel, which I'm not ready to do yet, so I'll X out of that, and we are done. Keep your eyes out for future videos where I show you how to map one of your funnels to a subdomain so you can actually publish it live on the internet and start sending traffic to it. I'm Troy Dean, let's get to work.